Chapter 7, Back to the Garden, sort of. When the lights went on, there were groups of chairs in rows, and then in the front of the room was a cage-like wall. Everyone started to scatter around, and I warned them not to touch anything. Guys, I'm not sure if any of this still works, so I want you to be careful. Frankly, I'm not even sure if we're supposed to be in here or not. That's because you're not really supposed to be, Jack mentioned. Well, when... when has that ever stopped us before? Lana said. As Michael, Nicholas, and Lana went off to discover the room, Flynn, Monica, Samantha, and myself went up to the cage-like, well, more like fence-like wall. What? 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 What's? What? What's this, Danny? Samantha said. It used to be the original location, well, the first set, for the garden. If you look closely, you can see all the greenery, the molded animals, and even the waterfall. It was pitch black, but they all agreed with me. There were figures of all different kinds of animals and a rock face that would be the waterfall. They would have taken people in groups and have them squeeze into this room as a person would control the lights in the corner. The actors would come in and then leave. It always kind of freaked me out, especially when it's dark in there. I always wondered how they got in. Maybe through that, Flynn suggested. Flynn then pointed to a door hidden between the bushes. This must have been how the actors would get in and out. The only problem was that I didn't know how to get to that door. While exploring the room, Michael found a podium in the back corner. Christmas with the Jones family. So much for keeping up with them. He leaned his elbow onto the podium and moved it without noticing. His elbow clicked a switch up and the show began to play on the cage. What? Huh? Hey, hey, Michael, what did you do? I was just reflecting. I didn't touch anything, really. Well, well, then, then would you at least let the projection screen down? Suggested Samantha. Michael took a look around at the podium board and found the projection screen switch and flipped it up. The screen came down and we soon could see that this was the same show they showed in the main church now. Like I said, the Garden of Eden segment was not in this room anymore, but they must have saved the segments. The same nature shot started to appear. I then told Michael to lift the screen and turn off the room lights, and turn on the scene lights, for old times sakes. I'm a sucker for traditions. The scene lights came on and the waterfall began to trickle. It was really unique. Also sad that they didn't use this anymore. I'm Danny, and I'm not sure what to make of this, Monica said. Close your vents, Harmonica. I'm trying to focus here. How do we get in there? Maybe she likes you, Flynn whispered. Shut up! Nothing seemed to be standing out until I saw Nicholas and Samantha emerge from the bushes. Hey, how'd you get in there? The door just goes to the room next door. Thought we'd try it. Great. What Flynn was talking about was the Tree of Knowledge. The lyric mentioned little. If there was a little Tree of Knowledge, that being of good and evil, this is it. The beginning of the old holds the key to the be be beginning of, 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 of the new. Th that, that was the key part, Samantha said. Nicholas and Samantha looked around the tree and then found something in the branches. A fake branch that was shaped like a tube. Inside the parchment poem. I smiled with delight and told them to get out. Then it happened. Lights started to flash around the set, and wind machines started to blow. The waterfall started spitting water all around. I knew that we were thrown out of the garden, but but this is a set, Nicholas panicked. What what what's up with God's wrath what wrath now? Samantha wondered. Not sure, but I'm coming. I ran to the other room and opened up the door to the garden. They handed me the poem, and then I grabbed Nicholas's and Samantha's hands to pull them out. Flynn gathered everyone else out, and we made our way to the outdoor scenes. However, I could have sworn that that mysterious guard was watching us somehow from another room, where special effects could be operated. Hmm...